Cody 39 channel, welcome. We're out extra early today, it's quarter to five in the morning, it's a Sneaky Beaks episode again. Uh, gonna visit a potential AMG Hammer. Uh, I can't quite believe it is a Hammer, because it's such a rare car, such a special car. And this one's in really bad condition, and it's just sat on the side of the road, rotting away. Uh, be amazing if it is a, a proper AMG, but I want to have a close look. I've seen it loads of times, I've known about the car for literally years. Uh, I want to have a close look, so as it's summertime, it gets light extra early. Uh, the car's on the main road, yeah, and it's right by red lights, so and there's just people stopping in their cars right exactly where, where it is. I don't really want to be seen snooping around, so I'm out extra early, so there'll be less people. Anyway. Nice. Let's go. I was just parked around the back. And this is the car. AMG. Come around the back now. We've got a 996 here as well. Left hand drive. Do you know what? A lot of Porsche 911s here are imports and uh, they're all left hand drive. I don't know why they don't import them from the UK and get a right hand drive one. Makes more sense over here in Japan. Looking for a business opportunity. Getting cheap Porsches from the UK, doing them up, selling them in Japan. Might be an option. This is a 90s SL. These are cool cars. SL Mercedes, yeah, seem to always go up in value. Left hand drive again. I'm not sure about any more, but they used to always be a good investment. They go down to about five grand if you buy them, and then they would just slowly go up over the years. Especially that older shape one that we just saw over there. Mark III Golf. Um, these are rare over here in Japan. There's one or two about, but you don't see them often at all. That's a Type 2 notchback, something like that. Cool old car, looks like it hasn't been driven in a long time. That says V12 on that Mercedes. Okay, this is a nice little collection of cars. If that's a real hammer, that's quite impressive. All right, so back in the bird now. I didn't want to hang around there too long, pushing my luck, snooping around on other people's property. Um, so yeah, if that's a real AMG Hammer, that's quite impressive, because AMG is, uh, uh, the Hammer model is such a special car for Mercedes history, because it was AMG before AMG was connected to Mercedes. Uh, from what I read up on them, there's a few different websites saying slightly different things, but from what I read up on them, there was only 40 AMG cars from AMG before it became connected to Mercedes. Um, but there's a few, E-Class Mercedes from that era that were then converted by AMG. Uh, like have different engines, engine upgrades, like 5.2, 5.6, and 6-litre V8s. Uh, suspension upgrades and doing all the little things, styling things I did with them. So quite special cars, um, and quite collectible now. And, and I remember years ago, must be 20 years ago, they weren't that expensive. They were under 20 grand. Uh, a really good one now is like 200 grand. So yeah, they, they are collectible. They're quite special cars in the history of, uh, of all cars. Uh, so yeah, that's quite impressive. And then that like Porsche 964, I've known, I first came to this area in 2013 and that Porsche was there. That Mercedes has come since then. Uh, so oh, I've been on this road, go up and down this road all the time. I was looking at that Porsche thinking, oh, such a shame. 
I then realized a couple of years ago, I realized, I was like, is that, is that AMG Hammer there? <laughs> so I wanted to have a closer look at it. I'm actually more, there's more of an interesting car, that Hammer. It is just such a, a rare, special car. So anyway, yeah, uh, that's all I'm doing for this video. I might try and get in touch with our office to ask them about it, just to be nosy. Uh, my wife, I uh, talked to my wife about it. She says she doesn't really understand what that office is. There's sometimes lights on, the cars seem to change around it, like that uh, that classic Mercedes SL uh, comes and goes. There was a Aston Martin there recently. It's like the guy's a car collector, but that business isn't anything. Like there's sometimes lights on, there's no one ever in there working. And my wife reckons it's like some sort of fake business where you can just buy these cars as company cars or something. I don't know, just get them all cheap. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so it's a bit interesting. I wanted to put that online just because it's uh, an AMG Hammer. It's quite a special car. So anyway, yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching.